How did it go? Anyone hurt? Let me check on you. Phew. You're still in one piece. Okay, okay. Anything new about the tokens? Uh, quite a bit, really. So those Fraxidus goons are here in Jinjo now? Things are more serious than I thought. I wonder what they're up to, aside from coming and playing games with me personally. Beats me. I've only ran into some bozos before. Those wackos are hell-bent on making their own resonators. Said there's no right or wrong when it comes to resonance powers, and everyone should have the right to them. They use mechanical manipulation to integrate parts of tacit discords into human bodies. Well, there's always going to be people like that, and any time there's a place where some people have powers and some people don't, there's always going to be people who are like, I want powers too. Seeking power with such gruesome acts. I cannot bring myself to understand them. That Scar guy you mentioned sounds like he's on a whole other level. How did the fight go? He... um... It seems he didn't intend to kill us. I would even say he was pulling his punches. I don't know what he wants from us. But Madam Magistrate may have intended to hint something by letting us run into him. I still can't wrap my head around what happened in that village. I went over the files. That case is ancient. It was dealt with and archived way before our current Magistrate took office. What happened to the village in the end? Don't worry. The crooks were brought to justice and most of the villages were relocated to new settlements. But I didn't find anything in the files about that little girl you mentioned. So Scar really did take her away. I agree. If only we could capture him. Ah, uh, I'm so lost. Why did Madam Magistrate point you to Chi Chi Village anyway? What did she want to tell you with that? And that Scar went there to tamper with the site and mislead you with fake clues. Uh, he's the one who said that he did not leave the cards there, so it depends. <sighs> you mean... The Fraxidus was planning to tell you something about what had happened in that village. Then our Magistrate intercepted by leading you there before they could? Hmm. Madam Magistrate knew they were going to lure you to the village. And she knew they weren't planning to kill you. Her token was a warning that the Fraxidus had their eyes on you. How so? You mean she's got someone looking out for you? Or maybe she prepared other means of protection. <laughs> and vice versa. Anyway, I'm the one who's getting dragged around left, right, and center. Uh, I don't think I follow. <laughs> don't worry about it. The legendary figure who changed Jinjo's history? A looming war with the resurrecting Thernodian. And the Fraxidus acting in the shadows. If all of these have something to do with your true identity, then... Who exactly are you? Possibly the first Resonator. I'm holding fast to that idea until proven otherwise. Because <laughs> that document had to be there for a reason. I'm your friend. That's all that matters. <laughs> Come to think of it, the sundial's the last token we need to work out. Mr. Mortify said it's an intricate puzzle box. Madam Magistrate might have hid her real message inside. Yes, it 
It's the twelfth Shichen of the day, represented by the symbol Wei. Now we have the Shichen of Wei and Vermilion Bird. We should be able to solve the puzzle. So, Rover, you gonna try it now? I guess, might as well. <laughs> Symbols on the larger disc represent time, and we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... Ah, <sighs> it's working. And now? Symbols on the smaller disc represent direction. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... We have Teal Long of the East, White Tiger of the West, Vermilion Bird of the South, and Black Tortoise of the North. According to the clues we've gathered, it should be... Wow, you really solved it! <laughs> I mean, that was just the listening test. That was the, have you been paying attention to what I just told you 20 seconds ago test. Wait, I don't think it's something we're allowed to see. <laughs> Quick, Yang we should turn around. It's illegal knowledge, don't look at it. <laughs> it's just a map, you guys. Calm down. Come on, just go ahead and see what's written inside. I see. The grand libraries in Huanglong are renowned for their vast databases, holding valuable information about the regions they represent. Their exact locations are kept confidential, but it is believed they hold answers to all questions one could ask. The Grand Libraries are vital for Huanglong's data security, managed by the Regional Sentinels, accessible only to the Magistrates. They are rarely open to the public. Kinda like a big piggy bank inside the City Hall, data-wise. Yes, you'll find the most comprehensive and accurate information there. Rover, if you need to visit the Grand Library in Jinjo to find out who you are, I think it suggests two things. That I am important and secret. First, there is a strong link between your past and Jinjo's history. Second, you must be a really significant person. So you're super important to Jin Zhou, maybe even all of Wang Long. Wow, I think we stumbled upon a real big shot when we didn't even know it. <laughs> when I didn't even know it. What's the matter, Rover? Something wrong with a sundial? It is Jinjo's political center, and it's also located at the city center, if that's what you mean. Yes, I was talking about actual location, thank you. The city hall was built when Jinjo was established. It's a popular landmark for locals giving directions. Why do you ask, Rover? What did I say? Covert ops. Real confidential stuff going on. Mm. Come on, Yang Yang. It's just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Madam Magistrate. 
What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? She's not gonna assassinate him after all of this. Relax, relax. Hey, are you really trying to stress her out? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I guess you're right. Still, please be careful. We'll be waiting for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> First try. <laughs> As I expected, that must be the entrance to the database. Part of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. Guess I'll check on the mechanism in the middle first. I see. The control panel here does look like a musical instrument, but five music notes seem to be missing. So to gain access to the database, I will need to recover the five missing notes stored on those sono discs. What is that sound coming from behind the symphodi? This must be one of the missing notes. Now. How do I connect it with the Symphodi? Part of the score holder just lit up, as I expected. The drum over there seems to have unlocked. A bell just raised out of the water. So that's what it meant by having the bells guide my path. Tacit discords inside the city hall. Oh, there we go. No, they are not real. They must be some kind of digital simulation. It seems they are the guards here. Interesting how I'm not hearing sirens, despite having destroyed every one of them, apart from the simulated tacit discords. It's unusually quiet in this place. Here it is. Time to deal with the guards. Jinjo City Hall is the political hub, while the Grand Library holds vital data. Considering how I just took out all those guards, then this place is oddly underprotected. If my guess is correct, the Magistrate may have other plans for me. Anyway, I'll keep going. I've retrieved the third sono disc. Time to head back. Now I should have access to the database. So this is the Grand Library. It's said to hold the answers to every question imaginable. Which is just a wild statement to make in the first place. I'm not seeing anyone here. I guess the Magistrate is yet to arrive. Well, it wouldn't hurt to browse the archives for a bit as I wait for her to show up. She gave me the key, so it's her problem if I look at something she didn't want me to see. Thank you for leading the way, Rover. What a magnificent place to set foot in. Extensive, exhaustive. Oh, how I want to carve the place inside out and blow it all to shreds. Huh. <sighs> Thought you'd seem a bit more surprised. I wonder why. Ah, 
So you've laid a trap for me. Uh, Technically, it wasn't me. Huh? Interesting. Do you really think you can trap me here? You will not escape. What a shame I can't stay and play with you a bit longer. Till we meet again, dear friends. You're not going anywhere. A scar. <laughs> Here we are again, huh, buddy? I sense your weakness. Sounds come forth. Me want to hang out with you. Endless reverberation. Just saying. <laughs> him open. <laughs> Together. 
was following you all along huh well listen when enough people are following you you start to notice my elysium only breaks under coordinated attacks from both sides i can never get rid of all these pesky little helpers around you can i so you've joined hands against me with miss magistrate here it does hurt my feelings you know? In jumping to conclusions here, this is the first time we've met. This is her plan. I was the bait. Who didn't necessarily know they were bait. You're always so, so popular. Are you all right, Rover? Of course he is. How could I ever have the heart to hurt him? Consider my moment of failure a gift of sincerity, Rover. I trust you haven't forgotten our conversation earlier? Uh, I remember. Choose me. I'll tell you everything you want. Well, I don't know. Bold of you to assume you know everything. Huh. I see. So she made the move before I could, and told you all of it already. Then as the winners, would you be so kind as to tell me how you set me up? Now I have retrieved the Magistrate's message for me from the puzzle box. But it only points me to the Grand Library. There's no meeting time. Something. I've solved the puzzle. The discs have been rotated, and the two symbols are now glowing. With this glowing light, a shadow is cast onto two other symbols. The black tortoise of the north, north to the city hall. And the time reads, the Shichin of Cho, and the wee hours of the morning. Three days. We both made it on time. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Jinshi. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I guess I apologize, Scar. I guess I was in on it. I'm sorry for lying to you. An emergency forced me to leave. And I only had the time to prepare some tokens for you. Please, pardon my lack of hospitality. Yes. 
the sentinel of Jinjo is currently absent. Correct. The sentinels guide and guard humanity as a symbol of our civilization. When a region's sentinel goes absent, chaos is bound to ensue. As this news could lead to civil unrest, please keep it a secret. Jinjo's sentinel Jue is being held captive by the Fraxidus. I had to postpone our meeting and put all my effort into finding its whereabouts. Yes, our thoughts are connected, to a certain degree. I can sense his memories, feelings, and surroundings, though not very clearly. Unfortunately, I haven't. I can feel Jue is in danger. The good news is, I have figured out the culprit behind all of this. <laughs> is it Scar? Precisely. The Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Overseer Scar had several objectives upon infiltrating Jinjo. To track you down, to test your strengths, and to make you join their cause. To abduct Jue and to resurrect the Thrinodian in advance. They must have discovered your value, likely from one of Jue's prophecies. If you join them, they'll gain significant power. Should you refuse to join, the Fraxidus will likely want to eliminate you so you don't get in their way. I have a plan to apprehend Scar. Once we capture him, the Fraxidus won't be that much of a threat to you for the time being. You know, until they come to break him out or whatever. If you are willing to lend us a hand, I will ensure your safety during our cooperation. Uh, <laughs> exhausted sigh. Like, it's just been one thing after another. I only woke up two days ago. Of course. Your decision is valued, Rover. Speaking of which, you seem to have already gathered a lot from the tokens. Impressive, Rover. The threat Jinjo is facing is far worse than meets the eye. One of the Thrinodians will soon be reawakened. Yeah, so somebody has to explain what those are. They are the enemies of human civilizations, born from the dark side of our collective consciousness. We must defeat them to protect all of humanity. Ah, uh, well, listen. When you have monsters created from the collective consciousness, they don't go away, okay? Just ask Persona. <laughs> they, they stay forever. We have been doing our best to prevent the disaster, but the Fraxidus is accelerating the Thrinodian's revival. Indeed. You have defeated the Crownless and absorbed its echo with your bare hands. It is the tacit discord that embodies the concept of warfare. Lovely. Resentment of the Fallen, fright of the ignoble, those are the emotions that lay ground for its birth. The Crownless is a tacit discord that possesses powers from the reviving Trinodian. Jinjo is a border city with an unbreakable will and a strong spirit of resistance. However, we also fear the constant wars and loss of life, and the Thrinodian can prey on that. You, however, you were able to defeat and absorb a Thrinodian-related tacit discord with your bare hands and resonate with other TDs. 
Meanwhile, Huang Long's records mention a hero with similar powers who saved our nation during the Thrinodian War. He is mentioned in literature dating back to Jinjo's establishment. To uncover your true identity, this could be a helpful lead to pursue. Yes, based on my own deduction and the prophecies of Jue. You mean... the unfinished statue of Jue? I see. Do you mind letting me know what you remembered? Since it's related to our sentinel, I might be able to help. Rover, the memories of which you speak... As I mentioned earlier, I can resonate with Jue, our sentinel. Your recollections... They align with what I've witnessed in Jue's memories. Yes, I do remember seeing something similar. I believe it had truly happened in the past. In other words, you may be the person mentioned in our records. The unwavering presence by our sentinel's side, bonded by an unbreakable trust. Listen, if you're gonna go saying stuff like that, you're gonna guilt trip me into going to save him, because it's like, ah, oh, Jue, my old friend, I suppose. I don't remember you, but you probably remember me. I can't just leave you behind. <laughs> Resonators tend to live a longer lifespan. But it is indeed unprecedented to live hundreds of years without any sign of aging. But also I fell out of the sky ocean and I don't know how many people are doing that. So many mysteries about you remain unsolved. And your age is just one of the unknowns. Sorry, but I don't know. Jue's last piece of information pointed to the Northfall Barrens, where you should find the Thrinodian. I pray you will find your answers there. A Thrinodian is resurrecting, and our nation is in grave danger. This reminds me of the Thrinodian War all too much. Perhaps... This has something to do with your mysterious appearance in Jinjo. Not really. I don't plan to believe in a hero showing up out of nowhere and protecting us. I am just presenting whatever lead I have about your past, as I know it is troubling you. I want to help you, and that is all there is to it. Thank you for considering lending us a hand. Your help is much appreciated. But please, do not feel obligated because of the information I shared. They are my people, and the responsibility to keep them safe should fall on no one else but my own shoulders. I am saying this because I have faith in my abilities, and even more so in the bravery of Jinjo soldiers and our people. You deserve to make your own decision about this after uncovering your true identity. I appreciate everything you've done for us during the past few days and perhaps even longer ago. Once it all settles, I am ready to accommodate and assist in whatever future decision you make. You can leave Jinjo or the entire Huanglong if you wish. Well, uh, I wouldn't be very happy if you tried to lock me inside the city, so, uh, <laughs> thank you for your permission to leave. If you ever need me again, you need only ask. Let's keep this a secret between the two of us. 
How does that sound? I mean, if you insist. Scar, you are now under arrest for committing multiple felonies in Huang Long. Do you have anything to say? What do I want to say, huh? While I'd love to tell you another story, I guess that's not what you want to hear. I don't know, I could hear another story, but yeah. <laughs> I think you're just in trouble for now. Let's cut to the chase, Madam Magistrate. I'm getting bored already. Very well. You will answer only our questions from now on. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? <laughs> so, uh, why were you following me? I guess we'll get to that. You know what? No, I'm starting with that. Our goal has always been the same. We want you. Want you to join us. He looks so genuine about it. <laughs> Forces battle over you, causing all this strife. And yet you remain unaware of your own worth. Are you really that naive? Or are you just... dense? Rude. Whatever. Our interest in you is not affected by such trivial matters. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? A sentinel such as Jue can predict and correct future events. It gets in our way of achieving our sublime vision. We merely wanted to topple the set future built on lies and take control of our own destiny. Sure. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? The Thranodians. They hold the key to our ideal. Together, they will bring us the promised true lament. And we will embrace the new world that is bound to come. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? What is the lament? Disaster? Curse? Some kind of punishment? <laughs> People only see the surface. The lament brings death, destruction, and countless reverberations. Reverberations that will be reflected, overlapped, and interwoven during the lament. They will be our salvation. The only path to a new life form and a new civilization. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? You kidnapped Jue and revived the Thranodian, accelerating the next lament. This is proof enough that you are the enemy of Jinjo and all humanity. Stop dreaming you can force Rover to join you. He is our honored guest, and I will not allow any harm to come his way. <laughs> How confident you sound. As the Thranodian's resurrection approaches, Jinjo is barely holding on. How much longer do you think you can keep up this facade? Thank you for your concern. We have crushed your schemes once, and we can do it again. I have one last question for you. Abducting Jue, stalking Rover, and setting up an ambush in Chicha Village. You couldn't have accomplished that all on your own. 
Unless... Unless I'm not the only overseer in Jinjo, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have answered all your questions with full honesty. I don't mind you knowing because it won't make any difference. You can try to stop us with all you have, but it's too late to change the course of history. Now, I have one question for you. You seem convinced we caused the disappearance of Jue. What if I told you there was more to it? Would you be curious? About Jue? What else do you know? Come closer and I'll tell you, Madam Magistrate. It's a secret for your ears only. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're definitely not stalling for time or trying to take her hostage. Yep. How dare you? Madam Magistrate, I do... No, it can't be. He came with us willingly. <laughs> I don't know. Shocked, aren't you? But there's more. What if I told you your sentinel had made this prophecy a long, long time ago? Your all-seeing sentinel abandons you now of all times. Need I say more? You make the craziest faces. We're merely adding a touch of extra fuel to the fire that will soon consume all. Rover, care for a wager? I know you've been searching for answers about your past, and I've got news for you. Watch out! You are one of us, the Black Lambs, and you have been chosen to join us, ushering in the new world. Once you discover what you really are, you will come to us with no hesitation. The Fraxidus awaits your arrival with open arms, and I look forward to that day in sincere anticipation. <laughs> He's in jail now. <laughs> Something tells me he won't be in jail for very long. Sorry, Rover. What he mentioned about our Sentinel is highly sensitive. I cannot disclose it yet. Not before verifying it myself. Is it a ploy to create distrust among us? Or... <sighs> I must first find our sentinel to uncover the truth. Jue is the guardian sentinel of Jin Zhou. It is responsible for assisting Jin Zhou's magistrate in administrative affairs. While I am the final decision maker, Without the assistance of Jue, I cannot guarantee I am always making the best choices for my people. Well, that's just how normal people live. Jue can predict the future, and up to this point, every one of its prophecies have been proven true. While justice may not be universally agreed upon, its decisions have consistently served the best interests of Huang Long. For that, I suppose we will have to talk to it in person to find out. In addition, Rover, Jue once told me to deliver a message to you. To the Awakened One, when raindrops fall upstream, Please head to the Norfall Barrens and seek General Jian of the Midnight Rangers. 
I suppose so. General Jian is currently battling another TD outbreak in the Norfall Barrens, which will also serve as our front line against the Thronodian. But the ongoing war has made it a very dangerous place to go. Since you won't need to go there right now, not until when the raindrops fall upstream. <laughs> you know, whatever that means. I know you're here for clues about your true identity. And I don't want you to leave the city empty-handed. Have you heard about the Black Shores, Rover? It's an organization shrouded in mystery, with a secretive membership process and members who usually keep their identities hidden. Upon your awakening, one of their members discreetly contacted me to gather information about you. But please don't worry. The Black Shores developed a special lament prediction system and has established partnerships with countries worldwide. While operating in secrecy, they are not an extremist group like the Fraxidus. They have been monitoring the situation in Jinjo to provide assistance when needed. Thanks to their extra help, my meeting with you went smoothly. This Blake Bloom is their symbol. The Black Shores members usually wear it on their person. <laughs> yeah, there sure are a lot of people watching me. <laughs> Rover, after the recent series of events, I trust you have gained a general idea of who you might have been. Before you fell into that deep slumber, you likely played a significant role in important historical events, shaping the course of history in some way. Ultimately, I suppose it is up to you to discover the final definitive answer for yourself. This photo is yours to keep. I will return with Jue shortly, and the Black Shores may be worth your try during this time. Rover. Are you all right? Nope, just having more dragon visions. I see. The Black Shores must have a deep connection to your past. Since you are likely being closely monitored by the Fraxidus now, I suggest keeping an eye out for the Black Shore members. They could prove to be your valuable allies. I'll do my best to find Jue and tell you everything I learned from it once I return. This is my promise. Yes, please leave it to me. Sanhua. Yes, Madam Magistrate. I will be going on a temporary leave. During my absence, please help me handle my responsibilities in Jinzhou. Understood. Should I continue protecting that rover? No need. Both Chan Li and I will be away, and there will be more than enough paperwork for you to handle. You're too busy now to go stalking people, okay? Is Lady Chong Li leaving for the capital? Please pardon my intrusion, but he just faced an ambush in the Central Plains. What if... Regarding that incident, we tried to warn him about the Fraxidus, 
but they were more cunning than we thought. If he runs into another powerful enemy like Scar, he'll eventually have to confront them on his own. Excuse you, I did confront Scar on my own. Sanhua was watching, but she didn't help. Sanhua, you can place more trust in Rover and me. Understood. I will. My lady, no matter what happens, my sword is always yours. Both the interrogation and my appointed meeting with Rover have already finished. Scar only needed the two of you as his audience. We already knew what he wanted, and we let him have as much. He decrypted every message we intended to convey. It's only proper you meet him in person, as the one who crafted those puzzles. Such intricate puzzles. I guess only Rover has the patience to solve them all. No detail is too small. I'm sure he understands. Besides, not seeing the opponent heightens the thrill of the game. If everything goes according to the prophecies of Jue, I will meet him in person eventually. So, what did our captive from the Fraxidus tell you about Jue? That Jue had predicted I will have to fight it one day. A fight that will shape Jinjo's future. Well, that is... unexpected. But you don't seem all that surprised, do you? Can't say I am. I had suspected as much from our previous conversations, and the message it left me... His words only confirmed it. Where was it when you last sensed its presence? It was... in Mount Firmament. Unlike Jinjo City, that mountain is still resting in stillness. The place where the first people of Jinjo lived. And where Jue first manifested before us humans. I see. I'll find Jue, and bring it back as soon as possible. Our enemies could have planned it as a trap. We have a bigger goal to focus on, remember? I understand. I will not let anything or anyone disrupt the peace in Jinjo. Would you let what you heard from Scar sway your determination? No. He cannot ever turn me against Chue. If anything, his words only confirmed my theory. I am the Magistrate of Jinjo, appointed by the Sentinel itself. The prophecy speaks of a decisive incident for Jinjo's future, where I will be a key player. The fight between me and Chue is only a precursor. My job remains unchanged. I will fulfill my duty as Jinjo's magistrate with my own judgment. Is that your final answer? A single strand's neglect births mountainous upheaval. You taught me that, remember? The safest option is for me to go in person. Very well. Since we are already mid-game, I will let you decide our next move. This time, I shall be a pawn in your hand. Remember, I will always stand by your side, in this crisis or any other. Am I a player, or a mere pawn? 
I suppose there is no difference at this point. No matter what, I will do what I must. <laughs> 